Hi, it's Christine, and I'm here to let you know that my new tutorial is now available for making my double paper bag not so mini album. This is a very large album. It's got 12 paper bags in it, set up in two stacks in one album. So there's lots of room for pictures in it. I've got two albums here that I've made that I can show you. One album, another one, it was made with the A Place in Time paper by Graphic45. That one's already sold on eBay, so I can't show you that one. But I've got these two that I just finished making this past week. This album here is the one that I refer to oops, in the tutorial as I'm making the album. And this one is the actual album that I'm constructing. So I'm going to show you both albums. They're both made the same. This one is a little bit higher because my paper bags were a little bit wider when I made the album. So in the tutorial, I tell you how to measure your sheets of paper to accommodate whatever paper bag that you're using. So this is the first album, the one that I refer to in the video before I show you the steps on how to make it. And I've included a link to these albums in the description of this video. So in the tutorial, I show you how to make the covers, how to make the individual pages, the tags, how to attach the pages to the binding, and how I make the closure. It's got a wraparound cover, and as you can see, it's got two stacks of paper bags in here. So there's lots of room for photos. So this album was, like I said, the one that I made last week, and this is the one that I just finished making today. So I'll take you through this one very quickly. Again, there's a link to a video that shows it in more detail. This one is a little bit larger than the previous one. And I also show you how I make these little flower embellishments. The album itself is not overly embellished because I know some people prefer to focus more on the photos and having too many embellishments in there. But once the album is made, you can embellish however you see fit. I just put some embellishments on the inside cover here and on the back cover. Now the front of the album has a tag here and on this you can put a title that describes what's in this section of your paper bags and then there's another one here for this section so if you were to do a family album you could have one side for moms and one side for dads or you can just use the entire album for the same theme so I show you how to make those each one has a large tag on the side Then, on the left side of the album, each of these pages is constructed pretty much the same way. There's a flap that folds up like that on both, both bags, and each flap has a tag. So I show you how to make these flaps. And on the right side of the album, there's a flap that folds over to the right. There's a pocket with two tags inside. And then on the flap, there's another tag and it's held down by a little die cut here that you can journal on. The very back of the album has another pocket with more tags on, the same as on the front. And the back page is just left plain, but you can also add some more flaps on there if you want. I just wanted this plain paper on the back. And on this album, I added a little journaling space. It has a wraparound cover, so it protects the side of your album. And the paper I used for this one is called Cottage Garden by Tim Coffey beautiful paper. I used one stack of 12 by 12 papers to make this and also some black and white cardstock. I just used the cardstock by Recollections 8.5 by 11. They come in sheets of 50. 
so that's a good deal. For this album, I used the Tim Holtz Ideology, and I used two pads of the 8x8. Eight eight. So you can stop by my website, www.scrappinrabbit.com, where I do have all of my tutorials listed if you're interested in picking one of these up. Have a nice day.